Alrighty. We... There, there's usually no updates about, you know, there, there usually isn't really any big major updates about the indoor leagues in December. Um, mostly because, you know, players are getting signed and stuff like that. Training camps, you know, are steadily approaching and stuff like that. But now, this is a weird, weird time where the American Arena League has all the attention um, once again. So, do, do players not know where they're going to play? Do, do teams not know if they're going to be in the league or not? Do, fan, do, do, do fans know who's in the league and who's not? Do even owners know who's in the league and who's not? Because there's definitely an owner. Um, there was an owner, you know, and the, the, the forums on the AAL Facebook are just livid about, you know, who's in the league and who's not in the league. But right, but as of this moment, who is currently listed on the website, on the AAL website, is who's in the league right now. And there's really no other, there's really been no other communication about, you know, things. And the AAL itself is just like a, um, we're gonna release the schedules when we're gonna release the schedules. We're gonna, you know, we're, we're gonna figure this out when we figure this out. Um, stay patient. And, you know, the AL is, is a league that you have to bash in repeatedly to get it, to get the point across to, hey, stop being stupid. This is stupid. Stop being stupid. And, and, you know, the league is being stupid. You know, it, it does stupid things. It's been stupid since it began. And you have to beat it on the edge with a stupid stick. But as we sit here right now, um, the Carolina Cowboys, the Central Penn Chargers, the Maryland Eagles, the Reading Raptors, the South Florida Thunder, and the Western Maryland Warriors aren't on the website as members. And there are other teams as well that were potentially, you know, could be in the league, maybe not, who knows, you know, there was supposed to be, you know, the Topeka Thundercats, but they're not there, they were not there at all, um, there, there is no Topeka Thundercats listed here, there is no Detroit team that has been rumored since the St. Louis Bandits interviewed Tony Zaretto all the way back when St. Louis was announced when I made a video on that um, I think I don't know if I made a video on that or not but um, but we do have three divisions again in the AAL um, the East Division you know we have the, the Predators is still here the Carolina Predators the Charlotte Thunder we know is still here because they have you know actual owners that makes sense um, the Jersey Bearcats is still here the Mississippi Raiders. Now, now, the site said Raider, but I'm pretty sure it's the Raiders. Um, they are definitely new. Uh, the Pennsylvania Union, they're still in the league. And Tampa, the Tampa Bay Tornadoes have come back to the AL as I expected, as we all expected. They, they're back where they belong. Um, the Chicago Power is in the Midwest along with the Indianapolis Enforcers. Music City Fire, who played one game last year against Western Michigan, who was also in the Midwest Division, along with St. Louis. And again, you know about St. Louis already, so, you know, there's that. Western Michigan really is, aside from maybe Indianapolis, is the only team that, you know, one of the few teams that communicates well with, with players, fans, and owners, and coaches, and stuff like that. One of the few teams in the AL that can do that. Um, it's just that, you know, their presence is small, you know. But then we get to the West, which is the Texas division, which is the, you know, the Allen Tiger Cats have been listing their schedules on, you know, their website right now. And so the Allen Tiger Cats, the Austin Wild, they have indeed returned. The San Antonio Gunslingers, which it also have returned, yeah, you know, you know, to, you know, great things there. They have looked pretty, pretty damn good in the social media presence. I said they were decent to somebody. 
mentioned of somebody in the comments a couple weeks ago where they were, you know, that San Antonio is doing decent in, in their media game. Hopefully they can step that up. You know, you, you cannot have shoddy production out here in the AAL. And the West Texas Buccaneers, of course, you know, they are listed. But, yeah, um, so four-team West, five-team Midwest Division, and the six-team East I don't know how things are further going to work. I, I, I really don't. But, um, you know, we were expecting 21 teams and we have 15. So, where in the world are, are some of these teams? In fact, Topeka said they were going to try and start their own league. I don't know how in the world that's going to work, but whatever. So, yeah. So, yeah, teams have been re-added, teams have been removed, and things are looking interesting in the AAL. So, we have to keep on watching, we have to keep on seeing what in the world's going to happen. And, um, you know, the, the world of indoor football changes in a blink of an eye. So, we'll see you very soon with more.